Damon Snyder is here. He's a decorator and the dude refined is dude what refined. we're looking at today. <laughs> as far as interior design is concerned, that's sort of your slogan, your Yeah, motto? dude living refined uh, for type D living is sort of what we're trying to project. Um, just make guys a little bit more uh, refined in terms of their living conditions, right? We don't want to see the frat-inspired houses. We don't want to see the spaces that are overwhelmed with, you know, toy cars and hockey equipment and posters of bikini-clad women or anything like that. Right. Um, so, so wait, the Canadian flag is a bad idea for <laughs> curtains? Uh, the Canadian flag yeah. for curtains, the Jamaican flag, maybe some other, um, okay. you know, stuff is not <laughs> particularly, uh, you know, well called for, but you know, we still want to give a yeah. vibe of the dude. still get to be a dude. Right? We still want say. you to be a dude. We still want to have things that are due to prove, as I like to say, yeah, nice. but chick friendly, right? So yeah. women are going to appreciate it. I love um, it. They're not going to feel, you know, overwhelmed by stuff on the floor that they're going to step in. Um, Let's take a look at some of the pictures. Uh, industrial is, seems like it would be very due to prove. Sure. So talk That's about nice. what we're seeing here. Uh, this is a piece I designed. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Grounded. Um, it's just got that sort of industrial rustic vibe, so I like to sort of mesh uh, two materials together, mm -hmm. typically metal of some kind with a nice brush finish, and then I, uh, I put a, a bamboo laminate skin on the other side just to warm it up a little bit. Um, a lot of misconceptions about men is they want to go over the top with masculine. Well, what I like to try to do is warm it down, tone it down, make it a little bit more soft, mm -hmm. and I do that by adding a lot of grain and a lot of wood. Oh, I like that. That's so this is another piece. Um, you know, budget friendly. It wasn't a lot of uh, material. Very simple. Everything you can find at Home Depot. And it has that sort of industrial vibe again, but it's against a nice, you know, um, brick background. So it gives you that lofty feel. And the chains and everything are very masculine, but the wood takes you back, keeps it warm, and, um, you know, just allows you to have a, a nice looking piece of furniture. Very refined. Um, can we take a look at some theme rooms? Because sure. this is when maybe guys can take it a little bit too far with sports <laughs> Absolutely. and you've got hockey sticks on the wall, but that's not your idea of a theme room. Well, so what I like to recommend to my clients is to pick a theme for each room. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like? Do you like cars? Do you like sports? Do you like, you know, whatever it is? And uh, use those if they're picking stuff out for themselves. Use those as elements that they can use. Um, when they're shopping, okay, I like cars. Well, that's got, you know, kind of that vibe, right? I like that. Um, but don't go over the top. So I was just talking with a producer backstage. Her husband likes to collect cars. Well, he's got a whole wall of cars, and uh, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to women, and it's, you know, it becomes an obsession. Just the space as Absolutely. well. It's like it dominates the space. For sure. So tone it down, take bits and pieces, tabletop items. You know, if you have a collection, Maybe designate that for more of your collecting space That's or lovely. spread What's them out the throughout. Here? Is this a theme room picture as well? Uh, yeah, so like this is my, this is actually my house. This is my living room. And um, the main focal point of my house, I want to really express my own personal character. So I've got, you know, a lot of the hard edges, a lot of the fun, playful things. I've got a rhinoceros head wearing a fedora, right? So, um, <laughs> that, you know, the character, your first impression of your guest is going to completely project exactly who you are. And uh, if, if who I am is a rhino wearing a, a fedora, I'm, I'm happy to project that because it makes me seem a little bit more fun, a little bit more approachable, and, um, and it opens up the space a little bit. Dude, you've got some style. You know, we're <laughs> yeah, working right. on it. <laughs> we're trying to. There, yeah. how, are, how is this being uh, accepted by your clients? Um, clients are loving it because I'm not intimidating. I'm a dude. I'm, I'm part of the demographic. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm expressing exactly who they are and what they want to be. And I'm also showing them a space that they can call their own, basically, right? I'm not going in there taking over their space, holding it captive, and putting in crystals and gloss surfaces and, you know, decorative, you know, super whimsical stuff. I'm trying to make it still, you know, like I said, dude approved. And you want it to represent the clients. And as I want well. to represent. So, and I, not only represent, I want them to know how to pick out stuff for their own, for themselves. Um, I don't want to just show up with a whole basket of goodies and say this is what your space is going to look like. I want them to understand why this looks good in this space, why we can't clutter up a tabletop, not to mention the visual obstruction, but dust, you know, like I'm a dude, I can't clean 24-7, um, you meticulous know, guy. meticulous, right? And you, know, you got to lift these things up, you got to dust below them, you have to 
you have to make sure your place looks presentable at all costs, right? So, so can we look at some before and after uh, sure. kitchens to sort yeah. of give that example of, of how you help clients? So I also do um, renovation and renovation consulting. Um, I like to be the mediator between the trades and uh, and the client. So you know, I don't want to I don't want to tell you that a project's going to cost you tons and tons of money and give you the runaround on how to do it. I want to give you the simplest approach. Mm -hmm increase flow and and just make it an acceptable space that you can use so I can take a kitchen that looks like that and um, and turn it into which probably the next image something that's a little bit more uh, clean um, you know not so much yellow going on yeah. from that and 1950s yeah, that does have vibe a masculine, it's beautiful but it does have a masculine the darker colors sure. and all of that sort of thing even the the lighting and that sort of hardware that you've chosen and keep everything neutral you know Pretend like you're selling a house. You know you're not going to paint your walls pink, and not no uh, no mess around with your uh, your little green room back there. But you know, <laughs> basically keep everything neutral and dress it up with colors as accent pieces because those things can be changed as I like to express. Yeah. Um, you know, I I decorate my walls with wine bottles that have crazy graphics and colors. Mm -hmm. Something that can change. It's it's always interactive. Yeah. Um, and it's a good go-to piece. For your walls. Very cool. Damon Snyder, thank you so much. No it's problem.